Hello, my dear and lovely students. I first welcomes you on behalf of the EduSat sponsors government of Odisha's e-learning class. And up to that, you know that when the atomic physics chapter being your the completed, the anxiety must comes in your the mind when the nuclear physics to be your the start. And uh, today, the type of uh, the anxiety from your the face, it will going to be your the out when I will go through your the nuclear physics. And the nuclear physics is that branch of the physics which deals with the study or the character and the nature of your the nucleus. Then the question comes, so what is your the nucleus, what are its the constituent parts about that we are going to discuss on your the very first class of the nuclear physics which I given it as the name of your the nucle of one. So, in the nuclei one, we are going to discuss about your the nuclear terminology and its the notations, nuclear classifications, intrinsic properties, atomic mass unit and your the energy level with its the nuclear stability. And you know very well that the science is not developed in a overnight and any branch of the science, what you know either in other physics or the chemistry, mathematics, botany, zoology or whatever it may be, it being your the going on the developed from day to day. So, if first some idea being developed not only by a single person, different persons all over the world they thought about that one, they given some concepts. By taking that concepts a group of the scientists they to be decide actually what they thought is it correct or not. After that the experiments are going on, by basing on the experiments the different developments are enhancing from day to day. And in your the nuclear physics, in your the atomic physics or in your thermodynamics or in the electronics or in your the magnetism or in the current electricity, the development in every time it is going on your the increasing. So, regarding your the nuclear physics, let us first go to know what is the history behind your the nuclear physics. So, when we are going to discuss about the history, it must have its the day to day development. So, history of nuclear physics, history of nuclear physics. So, a history means the first idea So, likewise in the different years the different developments are going on. So, in the 1896 that is called your the birth year of nuclear physics. When this idea of the birth year being the developed by your the Henry B. Querel, Henry B. Querel you know the B. Querel's name and the Henry B. Querel developed the discovered radioactivity, radioactivity. About the radioactivity you know in your the chemistry we also discuss in your the nuclear physics detailing about that one radioactivity of a uranium atom in, 19, in 1896. In 1897, the Thomson's model as developed in your the atomic physics, not your the Andhra Pradesh that is the AP uh, in the atomic physics, the Thomson's model that is your the plum, plum pudding model. And in 1911 by your the Rutherford that your the alpha scattering. In 1913, by your the Bohr's model. In 1932, by your the Chadwick, discovered neutron. And in 1947, group of Mayer. 
जेनसन हैक्सेल ग्रुप ऑफ फिजिसिस्ट मेयर जेनसन हैक्सेल दे डेवलप्ड द डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ योर द न्यूक्लियस सो इफ यू गो फॉर योर द बेक्वेरल्स इन योर द रेडियो एक्टिविटी रेडियो एक्टिविटी मींस द स्पॉन्टानियस डिसइंटीग्रेशन डिसइंटीग्रेशन मींस इंटीग्रेशन मींस टेकन टुगेदर डिसइंटीग्रेशन मींस इट इज गोइंग आउट मींस फ्रॉम ए पर्टिकुलर प्लेस समथिंग बीइंग योर द रेडिएटेड आउट सम रेस टू बी योर द रेडिएटेड आउट एंड दे थॉट इफ इट फ्रॉम ए पर्टिकुलर पोजीशन इट बीइंग योर द रेडिएटेड आउट देन व्हाट विल बी दैट पोजीशन एंड दैट पोजीशन दे डेवलप्ड और कॉल्ड एज योर द न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस सो इनसाइड द न्यूक्लियस डिफरेंट पार्टिकल्स आर देयर व्हिच आर डेवलप्ड बाय योर द ग्रुप ऑफ द फिजिसिस्ट योर द मेयर जेनसन एंड योर द हेक्सेल सो इफ वी विल गो फॉर योर द डिस्कवरी ऑफ द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ योर द एटम सो एटम मींस इट इज योर द सेंट्रल पार्ट एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड दैट वन ऑन योर द स्क्रीन यू विल फाइंड दैट द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड योर द न्यूक्लियस एंड द न्यूक्लियस कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ योर द पॉजिटिव चार्ज पार्टिकल्स एंड नेक्स्ट वी विल गो फॉर योर द एटम्स डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक योर द थम्सन्स मॉडल एंड योर द रथर्स फोर्स मॉडल एज आई सेड दैट इन द थम्सन्स मॉडल दैट इज द प्लम पुडिंग मॉडल एंड दैट प्लम पुडिंग मॉडल इट शोज दैट द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दे आर द आउटर साइड एंड योर द पॉजिटिव चार्ज पार्टिकल्स दे आर द रिमेन एट इट्स द सेंटर एंड दैट सेंट्रल पार्ट इज लैटर नोन एज योर द न्यूक्लियस एंड द न्यूक्लियस इज योर द पॉजिटिवली इन चार्ज विल केम टू नो लैटर नेक्स्ट योर द रथर फोर्स मॉडल इन द रथर फोर्स आल्फा स्कैटरिंग मॉडल इट इज शोर दैट वेन द टेन थाउजेंड ऑफ द आल्फा पार्टिकल्स आर कमिंग एंड टुवर्ड्स योर द आटम ए वेरी फ्यू मीन्स ओनली वन टू two alpha particles just their returns and that returns of the alpha particles means the scattering of that alpha particles shows that the central part is your the core element and that core element later it is known as your the nucleus after the discovery of the nucleus chadwick has given the idea of your the uh, <coughs> idea of your the neutron and from that idea for the neutron the new era of nuclear physics being your the developed after that the different properties of that nuclear particles given by your the mayor jensen and your the hexel this is a brief history of your the nuclear physics next we will go to find what will it is the terminologies which are associated with it so in the terminology means the different terms which we known about your the nuclear physics so that terminologies terminology and notation so before the terminology and your the notation the different properties which are given that nucleus is divided into two models it being divided into your the two models the one model is your the known sim the second one is your the ipm so students when i said about the word the model's name is your the sim you must have gone through your the that world that so we know very well what is the sim about the name of the sim each and the every persons of this world they are acquainted with that one but if you will go to ask them what is the meaning of the sim which they are saying in in the sense of your the telephones means your the phones which are available in a house you will find that five to six phones at least the you have in your the homes and each and the every phone have your the sim so what is the meaning of that sim that sim meaning if you will ask for your the hundred persons you i think so that at least 99 per percentage or the 99 persons they will not answer what is the meaning of the sim but they will say that we know very well about the sim and that sim is in the phone that is your the subscriber 
आइडेंटिफिकेशन आइडेंटिफिकेशन मॉड्यूल सो सब्सक्राइबर आइडेंटिफिकेशन मॉड्यूल मींस रिगार्डिंग टू दैट सेम इफ वी विल डू एनी टाइप ऑफ द इन प्रॉपर वे सो वी कैन बी योर द हैंगल so that is your the subscribers name in your the phone but here the subscriber sim not your the subscriber that is your the strong inter strong interaction model that is your the strong interaction model so the strong interaction model means what it gives about the strong interaction model that also known is your the strong coupling model strong coupling model so how it happens let us go for your the atomic structure suppose this is your the atom the central part we are saying that that is your the nucleus so around the nucleus the electrons are revolving this is your the electron and the central part is your the nucleus this nucleus is the very smaller part of that one very smaller part so how it is a very smaller part suppose we are inside your the some room you are sitting in your the uh, tv room suppose that tv room must have its the length and the breadth if that whole one will be taken is your the atom then the central part means just the the tip portion of your the phone the tip portion of your the pen or you can say if you take the needle the tip portion of the needle means a very small part will be its your the nucleus that was known later so if that is your the nucleus inside the nucleus other particles are present that other particles are the proton and your the neutrons the protons are your the positive any charge so so many protons may be present there only the without a single proton it has its structure as your the hydrogen and if you go for your so the higher elements you will have the number of the protons and that protons they are to be or the bound means they to be or the coupled coupled means they are joined together so by that joining they will have a force due to that force they are in its the motion means the nucleus nucleus of your the nucleus which is coupled by means of your the strong force if they are in the motion then that is known as the strong interaction model and another one is your the second one is your the ipm so if we we'll go for your the ipm means you can remember it the ipm means your the myself i is the pm i is the pm i means your the myself pm means your the prime minister in this way you can remember ipm likewise i said for the sim this is your the ipm so ipm means this is your the inter mediate portable model so in the intermediate portable model the example is your the cell model so what happens here here also the nucleons are present so a nucleons in comparison with your the other nucleons which are possesses its the potential energy due to that potential energy this nucleus is in the motion here due to your the strong interaction force they are in the motion therefore that is the strong interaction model and this is the intermediate portable model and this strong intermediate model that is your the liquid drop model liquid drop model so if we we'll just put your the water to the downward position you will find that after some time the droplets of the water will comes out and that droplets of the water which are comes out that is your the strong coupling models example so these are the 
two models which are given by your the different scientists whose names as I said that the Mayer, Hexel and the Jensen etc. They show this type of the models. Next we will go to find what is the terminology and the notation. The terminology means the terms which are associated with it and the notation means the symbols which we are using. Like your the electron, for your the electron we are using the symbol of your the E and for your the proton we are using the symbol of your the P. So, likewise for your the other particles we will discuss. So, if you will go for the electron and your the proton, they are the particles of the nucleus. But this electron, it is your the most fundamental particles, means it will never to be your the divided. But these protons and the neutrons which are present, they can be further divided. So, we will discuss that what are you see the further parts of the nucleus. So, if we will go for your the nuclear physics, we came to know about it is the history and that history will have its the different years and then we are going to discuss about the notations with its the vividly. So, as we came to know that there are the two different types of the models, one is your the seam, another one is your the IPM and then we are going to find what are the terms associated with your the nucleus. So, let us now go for your the one by one, the very first one is your the nucleus, nucleus. So, it is the central mass of an atom having all positive charges. The central mass of the atom having your the all positive charges. You see, I am saying about the word of your the atom and in your the atom, this is it's the central part which is your the nucleus and this is your the electron. So, if the atom to be the consider, the mass of the atom is nothing but the mass of the nucleus only, the mass of the nucleus only and that mass of the nucleus will be the total mass of its the constituent particles, they are known as your the nucleons. So, if we will go for your the nucleus, if the electrons are there, but the electrons parts are very, very negligible. And if we will go for the nucleus, the nucleus radius and your the atomic radius. What can you say my dear students about them the nuclear radius and your the atomic nucleus. This is the nucleus though it is present inside that one you can say that its radius must be or the smaller than that of your the atoms radius because the this dotted one that is your the atom this is your the atom but this is your the nucleus. The radius of the atom is 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. But the radius of the nucleus is 10 to the power of minus 4 to 14 to 10 to the power of minus 15 meter. And you know that 10 to the power of minus 15 meter that is is known as your the femto. That is known as your the femto. So, this 10 to the power of minus 15 meter is also written as your the 1 fm femtometer 10 to the power of minus 15 meter is equal to the femtometer. So, if this is 10 to the power of minus 10 that is the 10 to the power of minus 14. This 10 to the power of minus 14 if it to be elaborate for your the uh, mind freshness 10 to the power of minus 14 will be the 10 to the power of minus 10 into 10 to the power of minus 4. So, this 10 to the power of minus 4 you can write that is equal to that by your the 10 to the power of 4. This 10 to the power of minus 10 meter, this is nothing but your the radius of your the atom. You see atomic radius is 10 to the power of minus 10. So, if this is the atomic radius that divided by your the 10 times of the 1000. So, 10,000 or 10 times of the 1000 part 
of your the atom is your the radius of your the nucleus means if this one will be your the nucleus its radius is very very small in comparison to that of your the atom therefore i said that if your the your room is your the atom then the tip portion of your the needle will be its the nucleus and if that nucleus contains the number of the particles then what will be its the density what will be its the volume you can imagine and we will discuss in this one of the terminology so the first one is your the nucleus which is written with your the zd if zd to be the symbolized which is the notation then you can say that is your the nucleus where e is your the charge of the electron z is your the number of the protons and the protons charge and the electrons charge in magnitude they are to be the same and it will written as your the nucleus next comes your the atomic number next comes your the atomic number another term is your the mass number atomic number or the mass number the atomic number that is your the number of the electrons which is present that is known as your the atomic number and one is it's the mass number so both these two are your the numbers so when it is the number means they are only are the integers so this atomic number will be your the z and this mass number will be written as your the a that is your the mass number another one is your the atomic mass atomic mass atomic mass means the mass of the atom that mass of the atom as i said that it is nothing but the mass of your the nucleus next another term is your the nucleons one is your the nucleons and before going to nucleons there are the two terms you have to know one is the proton one is your the neutron the proton is symbolizes as your the p and the neutron is symbolizes as your the n the sum of the proton and the neutron that will give you the nucleons this nucleons will be your the sum of proton and neutron so if the proton you see the proton is symbolized by your the p this is your the p and the neutron neutron is symbolized by your the n means this nucleons which is your generally represented as is the mass number that a will be your the p plus of your the n a will be your the p plus of your the n that is it's your the mass number but i said there is another one is your the atomic mass this atomic mass is generally represented by your the symbol of your the m so what is the difference between this atomic mass and your the mass number this atomic mass means the mass of your the atom the mass of the atom means you see we said this total one is your the atom of this the number of electrons are there on its the outermost orbit at the center that is your the nucleus if at the center is the nucleus means the total mass of the atom as we taken that that is the mass of the nucleus only so sir then the question comes sir what about you for the electrons mass if the electrons are there with the atom why we are taking the atomic mass number the atomic number and the atomic mass it is only due to your the nucleus only because these uh, atoms consists of your the nucleus plus electrons and this nucleus has your the proton and the neutron proton plus a neutron is your the nucleus with your the electron that will be your the atom and why we are taking only the mass of the nucleus as the mass of the atom why not your the electrons mass and you know very well that the mass of electron mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg 
the mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg and but the mass of the proton and the nucleus if you will consider then they are your the 1.6723 into 10 to the power of minus 27 of your the gram. Uh, that of the 27 of your the kg and this is 10 to the power of minus 27 that is the 10 to the power of minus 31 again it comes of the 1 by your the 10,000 times therefore 1 by 1837 times of your the mass is less than that of the nucleus of your the electron and for your the nucleus if the number of protons and electrons are there they have your the this type of your the mass and the electron has the this type of the mass and this mass you see this is the very 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 negligible in comparison to your the proton and the neutron therefore though the electrons are there no doubt but that electrons mass is very very negligible Hence, the mass of the nucleus is generally taken as your the mass of your the atom. So, this is your the terminologies which we are using about your the nuclear physics. So, in that terminologies most applicable uh, symbols we will use further that is your the P and your the N, proton and your the neutron and further that proton and the neutron are to be the subdivided therefore i said that this proton and the neutrons they are not the fundamental one they are to be the further divided as per our the terminology we came to know that inside your the nucleus the proton and the neutrons are present and outside your the nucleus the electrons are revolving the proton neutron and the electron they have their the charges and if you take in your the tabular form as you look in your the screen that the particles we have written as your the proton neutron and your the electron with their the symbols as your the p n and your the e with their the mass and the energy with their the charges and this is about it is the nucleons so if we go for your the representation of your the any atom that representation is generally is taking place for your the symbol x so, x as we are saying that we do not know anything then we are saying that let it be your the x. So, this is your the x means it will start from its the hydrogen up to your the the number of the elements which are present in your the periodic table. So, there it is represented by your the symbol of your the z which is it is the proton numbers number of a proton and there is a symbol of your the a and this a is its the mass number you see this is the mass number i said this is the mass number means purely it is a number and this is your the proton numbers and this x is your the element and when this is it is the x is the element this a this a is the mass number it is nothing but the number of a proton plus of your the number of the neutron but here it is designated with your the proton but how you will represent the number of the neutrons then this x in some symbols will be written x is the element z is it is the proton number a is it is the mass number and for your the neutron you can write at the n on your the right side which you see the subscript and at the superscript there is a symbol a that is it is the mass number and also there is a subscript to the left that is it is the proton and in some way this also written is your the x of your the a z comma of your the n this is also one type of the symbolization and in your the different ways of the symbolization is the name of element followed with its mass number with its mass number Suppose you will say the element is your the uranium with its the mass number of your the 235 or 238 likewise. 
the second way which it is the, the chemical name followed by followed with the mass number followed with the mass number so one is the name of the element followed with the mass number if the element is the uranium of the 235 or if you will say the oxygen with its the mass number of your the 16 or the 15 or the 17 or the 18 similarly the chemical name followed with your the number. So, for this one if it is the uranium the chemical name is your the, the chemical symbol that is your the U with its the 235 or 238. Suppose for your the oxygen you can say your the O with its the 16 or the 17 or your the 18. So, above after knowing this one let us go for your the example. Example. Suppose I will say n 11 23. So, uh, this not a that is the n a n a 11 with the 23. So, you see 11 at the left side on the left side that is your the z. So, this one can be written as your the x z a clear. This is your the z what is the z z is the proton. So, the proton number is your the 11. So, here proton is your the 11. Then comes here the A, you see A is the 23, what is the A? A is the mass number. That mass number is your the, the mass number is your the proton plus of the neutron. So, proton is the 11, means that is the 11 plus neutron is equal to your the 23. So, therefore, the neutron will be your the, neutron will be your the 23 minus 11 that is your the 12. Therefore, the neutron n is equal to your the a minus of your the z. You see a is equal to p plus of your the n. So, p is equal to your the what is p? p is your the proton and n is your the neutron and the n is your the neutron and p is the proton. So, the proton number is your the z and this is your the n. So, n is equal to your the a minus z. So, n is equal to your the a minus z. This is one of the example. Suppose I will give you another example for your the chlorine. Chlorine which are the 17 of your the 35 say. So, this 17 of 35 means you will now make your the preparation for the proton and your the neutron. Can you say students what will be the proton number here? The proton number will be your the 17. The neutron number will be your the proton plus neutron will be your the 35. Therefore, the neutron number will be your the 18. So, these are the symbolization of your the nucleus how you are to represent that representation either this one or the representation is your the this one. So, next we will go, what will you see the classification of your the nuclei. Classification means you have to classify them, means the different types. Next one is your the classification of nuclei. The first type of a classification is your the isotopes. So, this isotopes it is nothing but it is the sum of the two words. Iso plus top is your the isotope. This isotope means your the same place. Means from the meaning we are saying that it is of the same place. Same place means the place to be or the remain or the same. So, now when it will taken in its the periodic table with its the different positions that elements place will always remain same. Then what is its the definition? Atoms having same element, element will be the same. 
that element is represented with its the proton numbers. The proton numbers will always to bear the remain same. Atoms have the same element with different mass numbers. With different mass numbers. You see having the same element, same element means the proton number. So, proton which we are written as your the chain that to be are the same or the having the same element. So, this z to be are the same, but with it is the different mass numbers. So, the mass number mass number that we have written as your the a, a to be your the different. So, a is what? This is the sum of your the p and your the n, not prana natha that is the proton and your the neutron. So, this is your the p plus n that to be of your the different, this is your the different. So, if p and the n to be the different means what you will say? The p will be the different and the n will be the different. So, let us now go for its the example. So, if I will say 1 h 1, then 1 h 2, then 1 h 3. Let us come, now come for this example. 1 h 1, 1 h 2, 1 h 3. So, this is the symbol. So, symbol how it to be written? x z a. You see, if this is your the x means your the element, the symbol of your the z with your the a, you see z, 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 z is the same here. So, when the z to be are the same here, what happens for it is the mass number, the mass number to be are the different. You see here the mass number is 1, here the mass number is 2, here the mass number is the 3. So, this 1 h 1 is known as your the protium, this 1 h 2 is your the deuterium and this one is your the tritium. So, this is the one of the example of your the isotopes. If you will go for your the another type of the example, suppose you will say for your the chlorine with your the 1735, chlorine 181737 chlorine a 1735 and the 17 that one that is the chlorine. As I said uranium 92 235, uranium 92 236, uranium 92 238. For your oxygen O 8 16, O 8 17, O 8 18. These are all your the having your the same number of the protons, but with it is the different mass numbers. So, one of the question and you will find very frequently in your the periodic table that the chlorine, chlorine has its the isotopes with the mass number of your the 35.5. Chlorine isotope is your the 35.5. So, can you say that this 35.5 is its the mass number, though it is another subscript of on its the left or to the right. If this is its the mass number is your the A, which is the sum of the proton and your the neutrons. So, these proton and the neutrons are only the numbers, but the sum of the number is give you the fraction. Sir, is it, is it possible? means either the proton is of the sum fraction or the neutron of the sum fraction. Is it, it never to be of the possible, but if it is never to be of the possible of the proton and the neutrons number to be of the fraction, but how it is the fractional number is comes. Similarly, for your the calcium for 20 of your the uh, 40, this 40 also that is your the 39 point of the 5. So, how it is the fraction and to find that fractional let us now we will be discuss for its the detail. So, for its the average, average mass number, 
for it is the average mass number sir why the question average comes because it is the isotomes means it has it is the different elements different different positions of your the proton and the neutrons so when the different protons of the neutrons you have taken suppose the chlorine atom chlorine element is present and you just take out some chlorine and you will observe that that chlorine has it is the mass number of your the 50 uh, of the uh, 35 or your the 37 but that 35 and the 37 numbers on that of the atom they are not to be of the same it may be of the proton to be of the more or the neutrons to be of the more therefore we know to find its the average one you have to find that that average number will be the sum of of your the this one a1 n1 a2 n2 plus a3 n3 likewise that is average you have to take it, where A1 is your the uh, mass of first isotope, A2 mass of second isotope, N1 capital N1 you have taken, N1 is the percentage of first isotope percentage of a first isotope n2 is the percentage of second isotope clearly go through this one a1 is the mass of the first isotope suppose we are going for the chlorine of your the uh, 1735 chlorine 1737 35 37 so, for this one we are going to find. So, if it is you will go to find it is the average one. So, average will be A 1 N 1. Here there is no question of the A 3 N 3 because the third one we are not taking. We are only taking for the chlorine of the 1735 or the 1737. So, A 1. A 1 is what? A 1 is the mass of your the first isotope. So, for the first isotope that is equal to your the 35 into next one is of the n1 n1 is the percentage of the first isotope means if the chlorine atoms are there just you take out your the chlorine and the number of the chlorines which you will find for it is the mass number of 35 for the mass number of the 35 and that observe that that is your the 75 percent you will get suppose the chlorine 35 chlorine 37 are there if you will take out your the then chances of the finding of the chlorine to be your the maximum and 35 will be the maximum that is your the 75 percent of the chlorines are there and for the next one that will be your the second one second one means a2 n2 a2 is your the mass of the second isotope the second isotope mass is your the 37 into its percentage if one is gone to your the 75 what happens for the next one the next one must be of your the 25 percent means if you will take out your the nucleons of that one you will find that the 25 percent of the having mass number of the 37 so that is equal to your the 25 percent that is the 75 percent this is the 25 percent means that is the 35 with the 75 means 75 by 100 and this is equals to with the 37 which are the 25 means 25 by the 100 and this is equals to 35 into 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 that is equals to of the 1 by 4. So, now the LCM is your the 4 35 into 3 3 5 15 of your the 105 plus 4 with your the 37 that is equals to 142 by your the 4. 142 by 4 is equal to your the 35.5. So, for 4 with the 3 is the 12, 2 with the 22, 4 with the 5 is the 20, then your the decimal, then 2 with the 0 is the 20, so 4 with the 5. So, 35.5. Therefore, the chlorine isotopes is also written either with the 1735.5 or with your the uh, 17 of your the 35 point of the 5 either for your the 35 or for your the 37 that is the average one so this is about your the isotopes
So, about the classification, we discussed about the one that is your the isotope. So, next one we will classify it as your the isofather. Iso father. So, iso bar, bar means not your the bar, that is your the iso bar, the name is your the iso bar. So, what will be say the iso bar? Same, the here it is your the same z different a. And for your the iso bars, atoms having same mass number atoms having the same mass number with different p and your the n. It having your the same mass number means a is to be your the same p and n to be different. So, when the p and the n means proton and neutrons are to be different, then its chemical properties to be different. Chemical properties to be the different. So, what will be the example? Suppose S n S b with your the 50 131, this is your the uh, 51 with your the 131. So, this is your the uh, S n S b or your the argon with your the calcium. So, if you your the S n with the S p, S n is the 50. So, 50 is what? This is your the z. And this is your the 51, this is what? This is your the z. So, what happens for your the z? You see, we have written that p and the n to be the different. z means the proton. So, the proton numbers to be the different. And here the 131, 131, the upper 131, that is the mass number. This upper 131, that is also the mass number. And this 131, 131 is the same. So, the mass numbers are to be are the same, but it is the proton numbers to be are the different. But we have written not only are the proton, the neutron also to be are the different. So, what will the number of the neutrons here? here? From 131, you have to subtract the 50. So, that will be are the 81. And what will happen for this one? That will be are the 80. 1, 1, 0, 13 with 5 is the 80. So, here the 80 is your the neutron number, here your the 81 is your the neutron number. You see, we have written that proton and a neutron to be the different. So, proton and the neutrons are your the different. Here the proton is 50, here it is the 51, here the neutron is 81, here the neutron is your the 80. So, this type of the classification of the elements is known as your the iso bars. Next, we will go for your the third one that is your the isotones for your the isotones you see iso iso means what we have written in your the isotope iso means you are the same so one thing to be your the remain same you see here the same is your the z here the same of your the atomic number of having your the same mass number means your the a to be your the same p and the n are your the different this is for your the iso bar and for your the isotones what will happen the neutrons to be are the different the neutrons to be are the different but what will happen your the protons and its the atomic numbers a and p to be same and a neutron to be different neutron to be of the different. Suppose I will write 1 S 3 and H E 2 4. You see what is your the 1 and what is your the 2? 1 and 2 is your the z number. Means your the z numbers to be your n. n means your the number of your the neutrons to be your the different. You see 1 H 1, 1 H uh, with your the different different neutrons, neutrons to be your the same. 
because this is the tone, tone means the neutron, ton, ton. So, this is the n to be are the same and the a and the p to be are the different. You see this is your the p means your the proton, this is your the 2 that is the proton, 1 and your the 2. So, 1 and 2 means the protons are your the different. This is your the 3, 3 is what? Your the A. This is 4 is what? That is your the A. Means your the mass numbers to be your the different. You see A to be your the different and your the P to be your the different. But what to be your the same? The same will be your the neutron. So, what will the number of a neutrons here? 3 minus 1 that is the 2. This is the 4 minus 2 that is your the 2. Therefore, the proton is your the, the neutron to be your the same when the neutron to be are the same then that is your the isotons. Similarly, these are the examples of the oxygen with your the nitrogen you can also take. So, this is the third type of your the thank you very much.